Shannon Mapchick Myers uh, talking about JMP software today. This is just a quick video about how to make a histogram in JMP. This is the exam data we had from the lecture earlier um, that we did by hand. So I thought we'd check out the technology. Ready? All right. So when you go over here to exam one percentages, and if you click on right click on that column, um, there's certain properties that, that you can choose that we will use later, um, but I just wanted you to kind of check that out. Um, what we're going to be doing today, like here's one for example, if you wanted to sort the data, right, you could sort in ascending or descending order, right? So I think uh, the way we had it sorted before uh, in preparation for the stem and leaf plot was the, um, sorry, it, sorting it ascending. And by the way, we can do the stem and leaf plot on here as well, so I'll show you that too. Okay, <laughs> here we go, I'll stop talking now. But um, we've got our data, what we want to do is we want to go to um, analyze, it's under analyze, and we're analyzing the distribution, okay? So you go to analyze and then distribution. Now the, it, it does this a little bit differently in JMP, the way that the histogram is initially made is kind of sideways, which is fine. We're gonna go ahead, if, when you click, when this is blue, it means it's highlighted. So we will put our, that as our Y column. So I'm just gonna say, okay, and we'll give us this initial picture. Um, I was, I'm clicked on this, this 88, which is why it's showing up right there. It's kind of, kind of cool because you can, you can see, um, oops, I'm trying to move it over here. You can, you can see it uh, kind of live there. All right, so here we go. Notice that the, notice that the program defaulted where um, they just do it on a scale, which is fine. We had um, we had indicated certain widths. So this scale is going from, if we take a look at this one, it's got this data value here, right? So let's take a look at this. And if you right click on the percentages, you can click on histogram op options, all right? And do you see how the default is vertical, right? So we are going to um, have it where it looks more like the one we were working with. And then what you also may have noticed is if we right click here, you can do some other things, right? You can do stem and leaf. So we might as well click on that, right? Isn't that pretty groovy? That's uh, what we had done. In this case, it was done in descending order, which is fine. 